Okay, guys. Uh, so today we are gonna uh, complete our second part of B and B principle and procedure. So we're gonna talk about Cal sheet, how to solve Cal sheet. Uh, then uh, passing through uh, killing methods, how to kill the well. We have, as we mentioned yesterday, we have uh, conventional methods like driller and weight and weight method and unconventional methods like the volumetric one. Then I'm gonna talk about the challenges or the problems that we face uh, during circulating out a cake, okay? Problems or challenges like uh, shock push out, like uh, shock plugging, uh, nozzle blown out, nozzle plugging, and pump failure. All of these challenges that may face you during circulating out a cake, okay? Uh, then gonna talk about uh, the volumetric method and talking about uh, the hydrate, gas hydrate that form it and how to prevent hydration from being formed and uh, flow lines and plugging it. Okay. Then gonna finish by uh, talking about the drills, safety drills that made in our rig size to uh, train our employee or our crew to. Uh, how to deal effectively, how to recognize and deal with different situations like a kick, uh, like how to control via the shock of an ankylose, okay? And how to uh, simulate that uh, you have uh, a trip situation, for example, or any well control issue, okay? So let's start with you talking about Kel sheet. In the exam, you will be given Kel sheet like this, giving you the following data, whole size, then giving you whole depth with TVD, through vertical depth and measure depth, then give you casing, setting depth also, TVD and measure depth. For example, here, 9,875, then drill pipe capacity and parallel per feet, then heavy wall drill pipe length, capacity, the real cooler length, and the real cooler capacity. Then giving you the current drilling fluid density, okay, current mud weight. Then the capacity of the open hole with the cooler. Then the capacity of the open hole with the drill pipe, heavy wall drill pipe section, okay. Then the capacity of the casing with the drill pipe. And here, the fracture fluid density. Okay, also this fracture flow density may be unknown and you need to calculate it if required. Then here, shot in drill pipe pressure, shot in casing pressure, and between these three parameters, you're gonna record after uh, having a kick after pressure stabilization. Okay, this is for our second page in our Kel sheet. And here, pump displacement in parallel per stroke to allow you to convert your volumes after calculation from parallels into strokes. Okay. Then here, last thing, give you pump pressure at 30 SPM. This is the care rate we're going to use. We have pump pressure 650, and it's called also dynamic pressure. Okay. So this is the shape of our Kel sheet, first page, required from you to calculate these parameters. First thing, maximum allowable drilling fluid density, then gonna calculate initial mass, okay? Then gonna calculate the volumes, the real strength volume, open hole volume, total annulus volume, and total well system volume. Then for the second page, we are required to calculate kill mud weight, initial circulating pressure, and final circulating pressure. A last thing here, delta P pressure drop per 100 stroke, for example, okay? So starting from the beginning, after taking our blank kill sheet, we need to put our given data here on the figure. So casing setting depth, TVD measure depth, the same thing. So this gave you indication our well is vertical well. So here, the TVD of 
casing setting depth, casing show. Then here, the whole depth, okay? At the time, we already take a cap, okay? So let's share with you our whiteboard for further clarification. Okay. Here, first thing of our cal sheet, sorry. Okay, so here, first thing, you want us to calculate maximum allowable drilling fluid length, okay? As we discussed yesterday to calculate this one, we need to have the mod weight during the test of leak of test, mod weight at test, okay, plus leak of test pressure, leak of test pressure here over over TVD over 0.052, okay? So if we have, for example, let's change the color. If we have, for example, here, the mod weight at the test, say it was 11 BBG. And after conducting the test, we have leak of test pressure, for example, 700 BSI, okay? And we have TVD, say we have 6,000 feet, okay? So we need to calculate the maximum allowable drilling fluid density. So the first thing we need to do is to apply the equation. Let me calculate. Seven hundred over six thousand times one point five two plus eleven. So the answer here will be thirteen. Will be thirteen point two four BBG. Okay, and as we mentioned yesterday this maximum allowable drilling fluid density needed to be rounded down. So the value here, the answer here, will be only 13.2 ppg. We're gonna remove this one, only one decimal after the point or the dot. This maximum allowable drilling fluid density may give you and the Cal sheet given data as a given. Okay, so it's also called fracture also called fracture dynasty or fracture mod weight. Okay, also called fracture mod weight. Okay, so he may give you in the exam directly this value as 13.2 BBG as the fracture density or the fracture mod weight. After that, we calculating the first parameters, maximum allowable fluid density or fracture mod weight density and make round down for this value. Then gonna calculate another parameter called initial mass. Okay, and as we mentioned, mass be equal fracture pressure minus hydrostatic pressure at show. Okay, so it will equal the maximum allowable drilling fluid density or fracture mod weight minus current mod weight. Okay, times 0.052 times TVD at the show. So for example, if we have here, just calculated 13.2, and here current mod weight say we have 
the same like the test 11. Okay, so we need to calculate the mass. So the mass in this situation will be typical like the leak of test pressure. But if we change that, so it will be, for example, 12. Let's make it 12. Okay, so just apply the equation, it will be equal. 13.2 minus 12, so it will be 1.2 times PVD 6,000 times 0.052. So just calculate. It will be 1.2 times 6,000 times 0.052. So it will be 300, for example. 374.4 PSI. As we mentioned yesterday, this value also need to be rounded down. So this pressure will remove the decimal part, only the integral part. So it will be 374 PSI. Okay, guys. Okay. Clear, guys? Okay. 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 So if we're going to pack, if we're going to pack to our cal sheet, we will find here, first thing, maximum allowable drilling fluid density to be calculated. We just bought here the drilling fluid density at the test plus leak of test pressure over PVD times 0 0.052. So we going to calculate maximum allowable drilling flow density and maybe given like here if you look to the given data you will find fracture fluid density 16.9 and after calculation the same thing it will be 16.9 so he may giving you this data directly or you need to calculate it after that we have here initial mass taking the fracture density or the maximum allowable drilling mod weight okay minus current density here current density is 14 for example then times pvd at the show 9825 times 0.52 so calculating then make round down for both make round down for the the fracture flow density and for the initial mass okay okay after that we need to gonna calculate the volume the volume of the relief thing okay and the volume of the open hole and the annular section so back again to our whiteboard so let's say we have our well like this Okay, we have here the real pipe. Then here, heavy wall, the real pipe. Then here, the real cooler. And last thing with us is our drill pet. And we need to calculate the volume. So say, here we need to calculate our drill string volume and our annulus volume. We have here casing setting depth or casing show depth. Okay. So say we have our TVD for the hole. Say all the TVD is about 8,000 feet and the TVD only about 4,000 feet. Okay. And we have here the length of the drill pipe section, heavy wall drill pipe, as 700 feet. And the length for the drill cooler is about 600 feet. Okay. So we need to determine all the unknown lengths to can calculate the actual volume. But let me tell you something when dealing with volume. Okay we deal with measure depth.
But when dealing with pressures, we're going to deal with TVD. So here, as long as we want to talk about the volume, so let's start, calculate the drill pipe volume, this part. How to calculate the drill pipe volume? First thing, we need to get the section, this section, length, drill pipe length, from here to here, this section, okay? We need to know the drill pipe length. So how to get it? First thing, we need to take the TVD, total TVD, 8,000 minus the heavy wall drill pipe, 700, minus the drill cooler, 600. So it will be, let's calculate, 8,000 minus 700 minus 600, it will be 6,700, okay? 6,700 feet. This is the length of drill pipe. So to calculate the drill pipe volume, first thing, we take this length, 6,700, and times it with the drill pipe capacity, okay? So let's say we have drill pipe capacity, for example, here, 0.0078, okay? So let's calculate with your volume. It will be 6,700 times 0.0078, so it will be 52. Error. Okay, say we have or we get the number one, two, three, four, six, five BPL. Say this. Okay, then gonna calculate the next section, the heavy wall, heavy wall drill pipe section. So we have at the length 700, find it with the heavy wall drill pipe capacity okay so let's say we're gonna have the volume for example drill pipe volume say we have about 58 bbl okay okay then we need to calculate the last section here the drill cooler one we have excellence 600 so here drill cooler volume will equal excellence 600 times drill cooler capacity so say we have about um, 40.873 barrel okay then to calculate the whole drill string volume here last thing drill string volume we need to add all of these parameters, okay? The section of drill pipe, this one, plus the section of heavy wall drill pipe, plus the section of the drill cooler. Say we adding the three sections, so we got, for example, about, say, 218.345 BBL. Okay, say we get the volume. So here we just calculate the volume of the drill pipe, then the volume of the drill cooler, then last thing, the volume here of the drill cooler. Calculating drill string volume, then heavy wall drill pipe, then the drill cooler volume. So say calculating here drill string volume. It is now the turn to calculate the open hole volume. So starting. Let's make clear for this section. Okay. Let's make clear for the drill string volume.
Okay. So now we need to calculate first section here, the open hole, this section between drill collar and open hole, the volume. So here we're gonna say open hole volume of open hole, open hole and drill cooler. Okay, so we're gonna take its length, it will equal 600 times the capacity, capacity between the drill pipe or drill cooler and the open hole. Okay, so say here we wanna calculate and this will be about 17.123 PPL. Okay, then gonna calculate the second section here. But second section is different, different from the drill pipe. So here's the second section from the drill, heavy wall drill pipe till the king show. So here we have section, the whole section of the heavy wall drill, drill pipe plus section from drill pipe. Okay, so here we have this section, section number one plus section number two is heavy wall drill pipe. So to calculate its length here, volume of open hole and heavy wall drill pipe and drill pipe section. Okay, so to calculate its length, it will be the total measure depth or TVD, 8,000 minus here, the casing show depth, 4,000 minus drill cooler length, 600. So it will be about 3,400, okay? So the section will be about 3,400 feet. So to calculate the volume, we take this one, 3,400 times that with the capacity between this one, the capacity between the heavy wall drill pipe and the section from drive and the open hole. So let's calculate it. And the result will be about 78.691. Okay, PPL. Now it's the turn to calculate the last section here, the volume between the casing and the drill pipe. So here's this last section, volume, drill, volume of casing and drill pipe. So here its length will be till the casing show 4,000. Take its length 4,000 times the capacity, say capacity here between the real pipe and casing. So, say the answer, for example, we have about, say, uh, 132.45 parallel. Okay. So, in the Kel sheet, we'll ask you to calculate the volume from the surface, let's change the color, from the surface, from here to the bed, from surface to bed, you need to calculate the strokes. So this is first requirement, to calculate the drill strength volume. Then I'm gonna ask you about calculating here from bed to casing show. Okay, this is the second thing, is to calculate the open hole volume and strokes from pet to open to the casing show. He asking about the open hole volume, then gonna ask you about the total annular system or from pet to surface, okay? So if we look in the requirements for the Kel sheet, let's check with you. First thing, he ask you to calculate how many strokes are required to bump the mud from surface to bed. Okay, he asking, as I mentioned in the first question, to calculate the volume of the drill string from surface to bed, this volume, okay? Then the second question, from bed to casing show. 
he asking about this section open whole volume then last thing how many strokes from pet to surface he asking about the total well or total annulus test okay so we did calculated the drill string volume then calculated here the open hole volume section one and two okay open hole was drill cooler then open hole was heavy wall drill pipe and drill pipe this is the second requirement and third requirement is to calculate the total system so we're gonna add one two and three here okay this is called total annulus volume okay or also called from pet to surface volume okay guys clear guys yes yeah, okay so now okay now we calculated volumes we calculated volumes in barrels okay but he asked you to calculate volumes and strokes so how to convert from barrel to a stroke if you look to the given data so let's back again to the presentation if you look here to the given data you will find bomb displacement equal 0.1019 barrel per stroke so we're gonna take this parameter pump displacement in parallel per stroke and divide our volume over it so back again to the whiteboard here we have our volume say the real volume equal 223.456 dbl okay and we need to convert this from parallel into strokes so how to make it we have here bump displacement equal 0.019 okay dbl per stroke so here to calculate volume and strokes it will equal 223.456 over bump displacement 0.109. So let's calculate, guys. It will be 223.456 over 1019. So it will be about calculated, guys. It will be about 192.89 strokes. Okay, you can convert or make round up for this number up or down. So we may write it to 192 or 2193 strokes okay this is for how to convert from bbl into strokes clear guys yeah clear okay so after that we're gonna passing through the second page of our kill sheet here if you look here we just calculated maximum allowable drilling flow density or fracture density then calculating initial mass and make round down for the maximum allowed drilling flow density also make round down for initial mass then calculated the drill by volume heavy wall drill by volume drill cooler volume so we calculated the whole drill string volume adding these three numbers to calculate the real string volume it's called in the exam from surface to bed then we wanted to calculate the open hole volume we have section of drill cooler 
then section of heavy wall drill pipe and part of the drill pipe. So calculating and adding these two parameters to calculate open hole volume in parallel. Then drill pipe volume with casing to calculate the volume of the annulus between the casing and drill pipe. Okay. Then we have total annulus volume, and he asked you in the exam about this one, open hole volume, asking you from pet to the casing show or open hole volume. And last one is to calculate the total annulus from pet to surface volume. Then gonna see the second page of our kill sheet. We have shot in drill pipe pressure, okay? Shot in casing pressure and bit gain. This data is given. Shot in drill pipe, 530, and shot in casing pressure, 700, and bit gain about 10 parallel. So, recording these parameters here in our kill sheet and starting to calculating kill mod weight, ICB, FCB, and delta B. So, let's back again to the whiteboard. So, we have here shot in the real by pressure equal 5. 30 shot in casing pressure about 700 and bit gain about say six parallel. Okay, we need first to calculate kill mod weight. So kill mod weight here will equal the original mod weight. or current mod weight, okay, plus shot and drill by pressure here, shot and drill by pressure over whole, whole depth or whole TVD, okay, <coughs> times 0.052. So say here, we have original mod weight, 14 PBG, plus shot and drill by 530 over all TVD, say we have about um, 700, 7,000, or 35 times 0 0.052. So calculate it, please, guys. Calculate it with me. Calculate it, guys, please. Fifteen point eight four Yes, it will be fifteen point four four eight PBG. This value of Kelmod, we need to round it up or down, guys. I think we should round up because Yes, we're gonna make round up because what? Because this is the uh, density that is actually uh, uh, how can I explain that? If we uh, use this weight of mud, uh, we will apply the same pressure yes. to the bottom of the pressure. Yes. So here we're gonna take the kill mod and make round up for it. It will be 15.5 BBG. Okay, not to round it down as if we down only by 0.1 BBG, we're gonna be in under parent situation and take further influx or secondary influx. Then gonna calculate the second requirement in our second page called. ICB or initial circulating pressure equal what? Equal SCR pressure, flow circulating rate pressure or dynamic pressure plus shot and the rail by pressure. Okay. So here SCR pressure say we have 650 
and shot in the real pipe pressure about 530. So the answer here will be 1180 PSI. Okay, this is for ICB. We're gonna uh, tell you in details about ICB and FCB during conducting the killing method. Then here for FCB, final circulating pressure will equal kill mod weight over current mod weight times SCCR pressure. Okay, so here we have kill mod weight over current mod weight times SCCR pressure. Say the answer will be 2 to 3.45, say, okay? So this value of FCP or final circulating pressure need to be rounded up or down, guys. Rounded up or down, guys, FCP. Guys, I think you... it will be rounded up again. Yes. This value will be rounded up to two to four PSI. Okay. Then last thing with us is to calculate the pressure drop, delta P. So how to calculate pressure? Pressure drop. Okay. It'll equal ICB minus FCB over the real string volume and strokes. Okay, so here we are gonna calculate pressure drop PSI per one stroke. If we need to calculate per 100 stroke, so here we gonna times that by 100 and here by 100. So what I mean by pressure drop, if we have here our well, this drill string, okay, and the well is closed. And we have our current mod wave, okay, inside the well. We have an influx just centered the well like this. And we're gonna pump our kill mod inside the well. So here kill mod inside the well. We have two pressures. First one is called ICB. Once we reach in kill rate, after starting bombing slowly five by five to reach in kill rate while keeping chasing pressure. Once we reach in kill rate, for example, at 30 SBM. So we gonna find on the real pipe gauge ICB value. Okay. Once we bombing the whole drill string volume with scale mod. So we're gonna find on the real pipe gauge FCB value. Okay, say ICB about 750 and FCB about 350. So pressure is decreasing. This decrease according to kill mod. Once you start pumping kill mod, okay, so here your drill pipe gauge reading will be decreased as the difference between the formation and the hydrostatic is decreased. So here asking about pressure drop, I here mean when I pumping in the drill string here, okay, 100 stroke. So if we pumping 100 stroke, pressure will be dropped. So we asking about the amount of the drop. So to calculate it, well given ICP minus FCB over the whole drill string volume, this one as calculated. So we have pressure drop per one, per one stroke. So if we need for 100 stroke, we are gonna take the pressure drop per one stroke and times that by 100. He also may ask you to calculate pressure drop per one tenth of drill string volume. So here he mean to divide the let me he mean here to divide 
the drill string or the drill pipe into equally 10 sections. So here the answer will be pressure drop or delta P equal ICB minus FCB over 10 only. Okay, so here asking about pressure drop per 110 of the drill pipe fault. Okay, guys, clear for now. Guys, clear for now. Yes, okay, so now we're going to yes. finish our kill sheet discussion. I want for you to open your exercise, to open your quiz book, please. Quiz book. Okay, to solve kill sheet. This kill sheet will come in the exam as it is not changed for many times. So we need to have a practice on kill sheet. So let's check with you the Cal sheet page. Okay, yeah. So here, Cal sheet. No page. Okay. Let me check with you the page number. You have our exercise book, guys, right? Guys, you have our yes. and Okay, so please open quiz book. Yeah, this material, really, exercises, level four. Okay, quiz. Our quiz book is divided into quiz for PMP or starting from equipment, quiz for equipment, then quiz for PMP, then quiz for equipment, then for PMP. Three quizzes, okay? Typical life exams, like IWCF exam. So open, please, your exercise, uh, quiz book. Same password for zeros, okay? For uh, the PDF file. So please open page number, let me check with you. Yes. I think 46 or something like this. Yes, page 46 guys, let me share with you this one. Yeah, here, page, page 46 in our quiz book. Okay, we have a Cal sheet given data for size, for depth, casing setting depth, and drill pipe capacity, heavy wall length and the capacity, drill column length and the capacity, current mud weight, the capacity for the open hole or for the annulus between drill pipe and the casing, between drill pipe, heavy wall, and open hole drill calling and the open hole. Then here pump displacement, slow circulating rate and fracture density. Then kill data A or kick data, shot in drill pipe, shot in casing and pick A. And here killing method at 30 SPM. We need to calculate strokes from surface to pet as we mentioned from pet to casing show in the open hole and from the pad to the surface, so I mean the total annulus volume, then kill mud weight, ICB, FCB, and the mass, and the mass after kill. After kill, so the current mud weight will be the kill mud weight in the equation. And here asking about the time for one complete circulation. But before, let me back with you to discuss this to things, he asking here to calculate mass after kill and asking about time. Okay, so here mass after kill the well, 
Now we have current mod wave will be our kill mod. Okay, so here to calculate it will be the same equation maximum allowable derailing fluid density minus current mod here in the equation will be kill mod wave. Okay, kill mod wave times TVD times 0.52 TVD at short TV. Okay, then here asking about the time for one complete circulation. Okay, so to get the time, first thing we need to get the total well system volume. We have the real string volume plus total annulus annulus volume. So now we have our well system volume. It's called total well system volume. So say we have total well volume, the real string volume and the annulus volume equal to say 8,000 stroke. So to calculate the time, let's release this one. So to calculate the time in this case, we are gonna take, we have pump rate 30 SVM stroke per minute. So we're gonna take the total well system volume, total well volume over pump rate. If you look to the units, we have here strokes and here stroke per minute. So once we divide it, so stroke will go with the stroke and only we have minutes here. So the answer here will be in minutes. Okay, and this value may be rounded up if it is near from the second number and rounded down if it is near from the previous number, okay? So we can make it up or down, but preferable to be rounded up. Okay, guys? Okay. okay. So okay. now back again to the quiz book here. We have a model answer for our kill sheet. So I'll give you some time to solve the skill sheet and back again to you to complete the PMP part. Okay, guys? Okay, guys? Okay. okay. So I'll give you about um, uh, 20 minutes or 30 minutes to solve the scale sheet and back again to discuss the answer with you. Okay. Okay, it's okay. Okay, I'm waiting for your answer. Go ahead. Now, guys, after solving scale sheet and checking answer with you, it's time to uh, complete our session, complete our PMP part talking about it. Uh, killing method. So first, let me share with you whiteboard. Now we're gonna talk about killing method. So here, killing method. For killing methods, it is divided into two main parts, conventional okay, and unconventional. Conventional methods also divided into two main parts, Driller method and weight and weight 
method, okay, for unconventional like volumetric volumetric method. Okay, guys, here we have our driller method have two circulations. First circulation. has a specific objective and here second circulation the main difference between the driller method and weight and weight is the number of circulation here and weight and weight only one single circulation This is the main difference between weight and weight and the roller method. So let's talk in details about conventional and unconventional methods. Here, conventional refers you are on bottom. But here, unconventional refers you are off bottom. Okay, guys, so let's speak in details about the conventional method. So here, conventional methods. The roller was S2 circulation first and second, and here weight and weight method, also called engineer's method, as it has difficult calculation and complicated calculations. So here, the roller method, as we mentioned, first and second circulation, but weight and weight, only single circulation. So what is the objective of first and second, and what is the objective of the only circulation? Here, for the first circulation of the, the roller method, if we have here our well, uh, here is our drill string, the well is closed. The well was full of normal mud. We have a kick inside the well like this. So this is influx. Okay, so the objective here of the first circulation is to make displacement for the influx by original mod weight. Here we need to make a displacement for this influx, this section, this section is color, this section, this influx, we need to remove it out of the well, okay, by pumping inside the drill string here, the same mod, the same original mod to make displacement for this influx out of the well. This is the objective of our first circulation of the driller method. But coming here to the second circulation of the driller method, its objective, now the well is completely filled with original mud weight, this blue mud weight, or this blue mud, okay? Now the objective here of the second circulation is to make displacement for original mod by 
kill moth to kill the world. Okay, so the objective here was to pumping a new bomb. So here, if the green mod here is kill mod, so we need to start pumping inside the well kill mod and make displacement for the whole system with kill mod till the kill mod reaching from surface to surface again. Okay, now the well in this case is called kill the well, and we need to check pressure. To suppose that shot in drill by pressure will equal shot in casing pressure. Okay, guys, this is for the driller, driller method. First circulation and second circulation. Coming here to the weight and weight method, only one single circulation. So if we clear this. We have influx inside the well, and we have original mod. So we're gonna make in one single circulation displacement for the original mod and displacement for the influx by the kill mod only in one single circulation. No need for two circulation like the regular method. Here it's called wait and wait as we waiting some time till waiting of the kill mod. Okay, so here. If we have our well like this here, if we have our well, the real string inside the well, the well is closed like this. The well is full of original mud, and we have influx inside the well like this. So we need to make our Weight and weight method to kill the well. So here, well make displacement, displacement for original mod and the influx. Boy, kill mod only n one, n one single circulation. So here we are waiting some time till preparing kill mod and line up here for the mod. Start bombing from here kill mod. Okay, till the kill mod filling the drill string, then out of the bed nozzles then to the annulus and the well is completely full of kill mud till reaching the surface again okay this is the objective of weight and weight and objective of the driller method with s2 circulation first circulation and second circulation after well is completely killed you will see that shot in drill pipe pressure will equal shot in casing pressure will equal zero okay guys clear yeah, yeah, please. Okay, please. Okay. So now it is the turn to talk about the driller method, first circulation. So here we have our well here. The rail is The well is closed. We have here gauge of drill wire and here gauge of casing or annulus. Okay, the well is full of original mud while we having an influx inside the well and we need to circulate it out of the well by using the driller method. So here, the driller method divided into two circulation as we mentioned. So let's write with you the specific steps to make the correct procedure. Number one here is to pump slowly 
plum slowly. 5 SBM by 5 SBM till reaching the reaching kill rate. Say, for example, 30 SBM. Okay. While holding casing the pressure constant. Okay. This is called correct startup procedure. Here, correct startup. procedure okay guys after reaching kill rate okay 30 sbm now we're gonna find the real pipe gauge will read icp value icp we just said icp equal to scr pressure plus shot in the real pipe pressure. So say we have here about 650 ICP. So the second step or the coming step is to keep the real pipe pressure constant at ICP value, okay, with about 70 BSI as overbalance. Okay, till the influx is out of the well. Okay, now make shot down. Four bombs slowly. Five SBM by five while closing. the chalk completely and last step with us is to check for pressure so here guys if we look to the figure we have here original mod and the influx inside the well at the bottom so we are gonna run our bomb five by five and start the bombing the same mod weight, original mod weight. Okay. To reaching 30 SBM, we keeping casing pressure constant at shotting casing pressure. Once we reaching kill rate 30 SBM, now we are gonna find here on the drill pipe gauge ICP value. And we have a overbalance according to IWCF recommendation from zero to 70 psi as overbalance if more you need to open the chalk if less you need to close the chalk but here we need to keep overbalance okay around 70 psi during circulation the envelope not not to be in underbalance situation so here as we just mentioned we pumping to reaching kill rate 30 sbm now we find on the drill pipe gauge the ICP value. Keep holding the drill pipe gauge by controlling via the chalk and start pumping here original mud till the influx is out of the hole and the well now is completely full of original mud. This is the purpose of the first circulation of the driller method. So after conducting here the first circulation, we need to check 
for pressure as we just mentioned. So here we need to look to the last step to check for pressure. After conducting the first circulation guides, it is supposed for pressures, shot end drill pipe pressure and shot end casing pressure to be equal to. Could you share, guys? After conducting the first circulation, now we need to check for pressure. Suppose that shot end drill pipe pressure will equal shot end casing pressure will equal original value of shot and drill pipe pressure. So if we have from the beginning shot and drill pipe pressure from the beginning 350 and shot and casing at the beginning was 400. So after the first circulation, both of them will equal to 350 BSI. If we found that Shot in drill pipe pressure equal shot in casing pressure, but both of them equal, for example, 450 instead of 350. So in this situation, we need to check for something called trapped pressure. Trapped pressure. Okay, how to check for trapped pressure, guys? We need to start bleeding bleeding 50 by 50, bleeding 50 BSI by 50. If no build up, no build up after bleeding 50. OK, so this is trapped pressure, OK? But if there is build up, second scenario, if there is build up, okay? So in this situation, we have a something called secondary inflow. Okay, guys, I mean, for example, here, the pressure is 450. If we bleeding 50, it will be 400. So we are waiting some time. If this 400 stays 400 without any build up again to 450, so this is called trap pressure. But if there is build up to 400, 450 and more, so it will be called secondary inflow. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Yeah, okay, clearly. Okay, okay. Now it's time to talk about the driller method. Second circulation. So here we have our well. Okay, let's. We have our well, our drill string inside the well. Well is closed. And after conducting fresh circulation, so the well is completely full of original mode. Okay, and the well is lined up, of course, to the pump. So here is pump. And we need to conduct second circulation. So here, second circulation have a steps need to be followed. So number one is to start the pump. 
start to form slowly. 5 SPM by 5 till reaching till reaching till red say 30 SVM while holding casing pressure constant okay now here we start pumping tell mud from bump here once we reaching carry rate 30 sbm we'll find here on the gauge icp okay guys okay and here second step is to keep the pressure keep pumping holding the pressure of one phase fluid side constant. I mean here annulus side and also I mean casing pressure constant so here guys we need to lock to the drill pipe side and to the annular side if we lock we will find that in the drill pipe side we have two fluids kill mud just pump it and original mud inside the drill string but if you come to the annular side you only found original mud inside the web but here we have original mud and kill mud inside the drill pipe. So keep bumping, keep bumping here. Kill mud holding the pressure of the one phase fluid side constant, I mean casing the pressure. Okay. Till kill mud reaches fit. Now, the real pipe gauge will read FCP value. We just said FCP equal to Kel mod over current mod weight times SCR pressure and make roundup for this value. Now, our well, our drill pipe side is filled with kill mud weight. Okay, now kill mud reaches the bed. So the one phase side now is the drill pipe. And once the kill mud started to enter the annulus, now the annulus have to flow with kill mud and the original mud. So we need to keep the pressure of the one phase side fluid, the drill by side, I mean. So here, the next step will be keep pumping. Holding drill by pressure, constant at FCB value till kill mod reach it. Service. Okay, guys, now shut down bombs. Shut down bomb and close a chalk while close the chalk. Okay, shock completely. And last step is to check pressure. So here, guys, we start to 
e bumping holding drill by pressure at FCB till the kill mod now reaching to the surface. Now the whole system is completely filled with kill mod and we conducting successfully the second circulation of the driller missile. Now here, after conducting this second circulation, it is our turn to check for pressure. Suppose that shot and drill by pressure will equal shot and casing pressure will equal zero. And the same thing, what will happen if we found shot and drill by equal shot and casing equal, for example, 100. So we need to check for trapped, trapped pressure. How to check for trapped pressure? As we just mentioned, start bleeding. 50 BSI by 50. Okay, once the bleeding 50, it's supposed that this 100 to be 50 BSI. If it is stayed 50 with no build up, so this is trap pressure, no build up. But if there is build up again, here build up, build up again to 100, so it will be secondary. Influx. Okay, guys. If shot in casing pressure equals say 150 shot in drill by pressure <clears throat> equal, for example, 50. Now for sure there is secondary influx inside the well. Okay, guys. Clear to now. Guys, clear to now? Yeah, yeah, clear. Yes, clear. Okay. Now, it's our turn to talk about weight and weight method. So let's clear. Weight. Weight and weight method, also called engineers. Okay, now we have our well. The real strength well is completely closed. Well was full of original mud. While we having an influx like this and of course we make line up for the bomb okay and we need to start pumping kill mod okay and one single circulation to make displacement for the influx and for the original mod only in one single circulation so the correct sequence here is start bombing slowly 5 SDM by 5 terrorism chain kill rate okay for example 30 SDM while holding while holding casing pressure constant now look here we have in the drill pipe section we have kill mod start the bombing kill mod and we have already original mod and if you look to the annular side you will find original mod and influx. 
So we have two fluids in annular side and two fluids in the real pipe side. So no one phase side to keep its pressure constant. So it's turn now to calculate ICP. We calculated equal to SCR pressure plus shot in the real pipe pressure. And FCP that's equal kel mod over current mod times SCR pressure and make something called step down table or step down graph. So here we need to calculate delta P also for 100 stroke. So it will be equal ICP minus FCB over the real string volume and the strokes time 100. Okay, now it's turn to make step down table. So what is the characteristic of step down table like this? Here will be strokes, the real by volume, and here the real by pressure. Okay. Once we are zero stroke, so after bumping here Kelmod from the mud to the drill pipe, we have we have here surface line. So after bumping surface line volume, we need to make zero strokes. We make to make the zero for strokes to start counting from the beginning of the drill pipe. So here at zero stroke, here at zero stroke, we have already ICP value, say 650 and plus about 70. So say plus 50 PSI according to IWCF from zero to 70 PSI, not more, okay? So here, say we have the total here is 700, okay? And the strokes, zero, 100, 200, 300, till reaching the drill string volume, 800 stroke, for example. Now, after pumping 100 stroke, pressure drop will be about 50 PSI per 100 stroke. So every 100 stroke we pumping of Kelmod, the drill by pressure will be decreased by pressure drop. So here, the pressure will be instead of 700, it will be scarcity 650, 600 after pumping another 100, then 550, then 500, till reaching here the whole string volume FCB plus the FCB is I we just added as over balance here 50. Okay, so now we Follow this step down table to start the pumping kill mod, keeping the pressure in this step down table or step down graph. So here, the coming step is to follow step down table. Okay, till reaching. Bit. Now the real pipe reads FCB. Okay, guys. Then after the drill pipe is completely filled with kill mod, like this. Now we have one phase side, so we need to keep its pressure constant. So the next step is to hold the real pipe pressure at FCB till Kelmot reaches surface. And last step is to shut down bomb Okay, and while Closing the chop. And last thing is to make a check for pressure. OK, 
Okay, guys, clear? Yeah, it's clear. Okay, so after conducting the weight and weight method, and the well is completely killed, to support the same thing, shot in drill by pressure will equal shot in casing the pressure will equal zero. But if we found that both of them, shot in drill wire pressure equal shot in casing pressure, but equal 100. So we need to check as we just mentioned for trap the pressure first. So trap the pressure will give us indication if we blading this 100 to 50 by 50. So once the bleeding 50, it is supposed to be 50. If it's safe, 50 with no build up, so it will be trapped pressure. If there is build up again from 50 to 100, so now it is secondary influence. Also for weight and weight method, you need also to take into consideration surface line volume. So once we pumping surface line volume, we need to make re zero, re zero for stroke counter. Okay, re zero. If you ignore to make re zero for stroke counter, you will found at the same time you still have some pressure and need to complete pumping to kill the well completely. Okay, guys. Okay, guys, is there any confusion? No, it's clear. Okay, so now let's okay. back again to our PowerPoint. Well control method, the roller method, first circulation method. Here, the roller method and first circulation. We just shot in the well on influx. This blue color is the influx and the white is the original mod. So here we have shot in drill by 530 and shot in casing 700. So the correct sequence or the correct procedure is Let me make something, please. So here the correct procedure or the correct sequence for the driller method first circulation is to start pumping the original bump, original mod, okay? Keeping casing pressure constant till reaching kill rate. Now kill rate reach it. So we will keep holding the drill pipe constant at ICP 100, 1180. So here, keeping the pressure constant. The same thing, constant till the whole influx is out of the well and looking to the casing and the mass. Always not to exceed the mass. Try not to exceed the mass, not to break the formation at the weakest point as we discussed earlier. Now, influx is about to be out of the hole, out of the hole. Now, once the influx is out of the hole, the Casing pressure return it to the original value of the shot and drill pipe pressure equal 530. Look here, the original value of drill pipe pressure 530. And once we complete the circulation, the circulation till equal the casing pressure equal to the original value of shot and drill pipe pressure. Okay, guys. And once we stop pumping, well found here that the real pipe pressure equal original drill pipe or shot in the real pipe pressure value also. Coming here, after conducting first circulation, it is turn to conduct second circulation of the driller method, okay? So here, for second circulation, our well is completely full of original mud, and we need to start pumping till mud from here, from the drill pipe, so look the correct procedure start pumping kill mud here while holding casing pressure okay the one phase side fillery keep pumping now here the drill pipe is full of kill mud and the annular side is about to have two fluids kill mud this color and the white color okay 
So we need to keep the real pipe pressure constant at the FCB value here, 692. So keep that pressure constant till the kill mod reach it to the surface like this. Now, once kill mod reach it to the surface, you will find that shot encasing pressure will equal zero. Okay, and here just pump the pressure or SCR pressure. For weight and weight or engineer the method, we have here influx inside the well, and we need to start pumping kill mod at the same time while displacing the influx while displacing the original mod. So look here, we have shot and drill pipe 530, we have shot encasing 700. Okay, once we start pumping, we're reaching two ICP once we reach in kill rate 30 SPM. So we're gonna follow step down table. So start pumping, kill mod here, following drill pipe pressure schedule. Start pumping till the kill mod reaches to the bed. We are following a step down table or a step down schedule. Now kill mod reach to the bed. So we're gonna hold the one phase side fluid, the drill pipe pressure constant at FCP value and start pumping till the influx is out of the hole. Once the influx is about to be out of the hole, you will find maximum mass and maximum casing pressure. Okay. Now, if we found that or no problem, if we found that casing pressure starts to exceed the mass, if your influx is in the casing, okay? So no problem, no problem if your influx inside the casing and you got exceeded the mass, okay? So you didn't fracture the formation as your here, if you look here, your casing show pressure will stay constant, stay constant, stay constant as long as your influx is above the casing show. Now we're gonna kill the well by the two methods, the weight and weight and the driller method with S2 circulation, first circulation and second circulation. Okay, guys? Okay, guys? Okay, okay clear. Okay, okay. Now uh, I think it's the time to have uh, a break, coffee break, 15 minutes, and back again. Okay, guys?